Hey everybody, Tag Bishop here. Wanted to share the warning with you. I just got home. Here's the warning. I did misunderstand it a little bit. Uh, that last paragraph there says your account has received one community guidelines warning strike, which will expire in six months. I guess it's not really probation. I don't know where I came up with the probation part at. But it said if any more violations may result in disabling or your ability to post content to YouTube and or permanent termination of your account. So I'm going to show everybody that I did acknowledge. I am acknowledging it. I think you have to do that. And this video is now unavailable. So it is now gone. But the reason. Well, I'll come back and film. Let me find my stuff and I'll come back. Like I was, <clears throat> like I was saying, the reason <coughs> I got kind of ticked off about the uh, warning I got from YouTube is not just that one thing. It's a, you know, it seemed like it was just a combination of everything. Just like this girl right here. Her name is Erin. I'm not going to give out her last name. But back at Christmas, I mean, it's just another. It's just one I happen to be lucky enough to find. Back at Christmas, I was going through Raleigh downtown. And as you know, if you go downtown, or well, go through any uh, string of uh, city traffic lights, they're all set at a certain speed limit so if you're going 45 if it's set for 45 you can go through all of them mostly especially late at night um, this particular night I was going through Raleigh and Erin and her boyfriend this guy here which is a bartender that she loves to hang out at a lot because every picture that I clicked on is a picture of her drinking and whatnot you know whatever but I was doing what truck truck drivers don't know what I'm talking about I call it a uh, slow roll or you know come up to the light it's, the lights red and you know it's going to turn green because you can see in the opposing traffic lights on the other highway or the other road they're yellow so you check, make sure nobody's coming, nobody's going to run through the light at the last second. And then when your light turns green, you're running 40 to 45 miles an hour. You go on through the light, so you don't have to stop and go through the gearbox again. Well, these two knuckleheads were flying up to each light, trying to get in front of me was the, their main deal. They would get in front of me, they would go to the light, and they were going too fast, so they'd get stopped. And then I would run 45, so when I got to the light, it would change, and I would just blast right on through. And she didn't like this for some reason, so she called and said, I'm driving too fast and running traffic lights. You know, I mean, she's an expert. She's uh, 29 years old. And so she calls my boss, which she didn't realize that I work for a smaller trucking company, so I only have, like, maybe 15 to 30. 30 drivers at the most, you know, it varies at time to time. She calls them and they had the phone connected to their house at night. So when she calls, they get her phone number and her name. And she was kind of startled when somebody answered the phone. And I'm sure she was going to leave a nasty voicemail on a company system somewhere and you know be nameless and faceless and everything be fine and she did her duty against the angry truck driving speeder but then they call me almost immediately because I'm still working and I saw you know the girl by you know when they called me and said somebody just called and said I was speeding and running traffic lights and I told them what happened they're like yeah we figured so so they give me her name and number and so I call her number. She still hadn't got home yet. I mean, this all happened in like 10 minutes. 
So the truck driver she just called in on is calling her 10 minutes later on her cell phone. She denied everything. She didn't call. She don't know what I was talking about. And hung up. I called her back again. Said, Are you sure? You know, all I, all I said I didn't act mean or anything. I just said, what was I doing that you thought was so bad that you had to call my company? And she just said, it was not me. You got the wrong number. And hung up again. So I just let it go at that. But it kind of did me good knowing that I finally, this is the face of the troll. This is the face of the Facebook flagger. I mean, I did see, I, I didn't see the nipple slip on that Facebook, I mean, not the Facebook, the um, YouTube video to start with. I guess I'm desensitized and stuff like that, but I didn't see it, and I didn't, still didn't see any big deal in it, but whatever, you know, people have to do. But anyway, I said that's the face of a troll. That's the face of a all you truck drivers out there. Where people call and say you're not driving right or you're driving too fast. That's that's who's calling right there. They know what's going on. They got it all together. But they won't. When it, you know when it comes time to like always when it comes time to be identified, they don't want to be identified. They don't want to have nothing to do with it. So. Everything's fine. I, I'll still go ahead and win the uh, Title Lytle contest tonight, I guess, is the end of it. So, um, Tag Bishop, signing out.